So anyway, the New Deal. Congratulations. You guys are definitely living large. So what is what is it then? You have total control now? Yeah. Total, yeah. Got total control. We got the power behind us. It's like, it's, uh, we got the machinery. Yeah, we just got the machinery. <laughs> yeah. We already had half the machinery though. Yeah. Because I was checking out some of the older tapes on the way up here and I was thinking what's going to happen to those? <coughs> are you going to... Are those going to stay on sick with it, or are they going to come out true, like um, Jive or CA? It is uh, Jive just taking the back catalog to uh, Federal and uh, Down and Dirty. Yeah. So Federal the rest of the back catalog is ours. Uh, probably one day soon, eh, you know what I'm saying? They will. If it's, it's our choice. It's we'll our choice. Well, if we want to send it through there or not. Right. So you're signed, it's signed as the click assigned, and E40 assigned, and That's then. It. And that's it. And then the rest is distribution then, like it, the individual. Yeah, uh, P like. mm -hmm. Right. Shit, we started to click back in like 80, 87. About 87. And this campaign just got some t-shirts and shit. Actually, yeah. We mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We've been together for yeah. years, all our life, you know what I'm saying? Because you're family. family. Right. But the whole thing is we came with the click, chose that name like in 87 on the reel, and um, just started getting some t-shirts, going to parties and campaigning, you know what I'm saying? Calling Just ourselves the Click. Getting our name out there. We was known as the Click Boys around town. Yeah, you know what I'm the saying? The Click Fools. It's just a big family. The Click is just it compacted, just like an organization, a tribe. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like a, with a Q, Click. Precisely. So then, remember you were telling me before, 40, about when you first went, I think it was to City Hall, and Walter was like, man, your style is whack. You yeah, never Walter forget. dissed me back uh, in uh, 80. Okay, but you heard that 89. from a few people. A few people said that to you, right? Yeah, I, I've been dissed before. I mean, it was like, I can't knock people for it because a motherfucker get at me like this. He be like, E, check this out, dude. I ain't gonna even lie, homeboy, man. When I first got your tape, dude, I didn't really like it. I'm gonna be honest with you. But now, then niggas start bumping it. Then I listened to it when I was twisted one day. Nigga, I love you, nigga. Uh, <laughs> this type of shit that be having to grow on motherfuckers. And know? I'll yeah. be mad at him. I'll be mad at him. I understand. I don't it's have like, no grudge against Walter. He just didn't recognize back yeah. then. But a lot of you like you say, a lot of people don't when they first yeah. hear it, right? Yeah, because it's different. That's See like, what it is. It's a barrier. They got the like game gonna recognize game. You know, well, anytime, anytime you spit the game through the microphone, no matter how you're doing it, they gonna recognize it after a while. You know, and some sometimes it gotta grow. And he was just coming at it so fast, and when they finally got an ear to it, listen to what he was saying, they was tripping out. Yeah. Like, ugh, ugh. How did, how did you develop that style anyway of rapping so fast? I'm gonna tell you, man. It's a combination of things. For one, when I was growing up, man, I, I you know I could rap folk slow and fast. And when I was growing up, I was listening to people like Too Short. I was listening to a brother out of Richmond by the name of Calvin T. He's he he, he ain't around. I mean, he out there, but now he around. He's still in Richmond, but he ain't out there rapping. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was listening to UTFO. You could tell my flavor if you listen to the old UTFO shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, a skeezer pleaser. You know what I'm saying? That kind of, you know what I'm saying? That kind of flavor. Then I would listen to people like, who else? It was UTFO, Too Short, uh, Magic Mac Calvin T, um, KRS One. Them the foe. And I, if you want to say E40, that's foe right there. That's them. And then I put my character in because I always have been like a part time comedian. I always have been funny. You know what I'm saying? So I put my character in with it with a bunch of slang words and game related that I gathered up off the streets. And I combined it and all into one. And it came up with a, a formula. You know what I'm saying? And it should work. Well, you know when first, I know there wasn't, Walter wasn't the only one. A few people said to you, oh man, that style is just too, too out there or, or it's no use. I mean, why did you continue, why did you continue on? Faith. Faith. Um, I always wanted to be, I always was different than anybody else. And it was just the faith, man. I had to just continue to do stick. To, I was sticking to it. I was sticking to it. I, we was gonna you know do it regardless. You know, what you I'm saying? we were just first we was rapping just for the fun of it, and then we started selling a few tapes, and uh, it just started rolling. You know what I'm saying? Did it start taking off locally first? The tapes? Yep. Yeah. Like we did a lot there. of local shows. A lot of. I lot mean, of Vallejo. Work. Yeah, a lot of street work. A lot of. Getting out there, getting your homies to play it, and then it's like handing it out to, to people with bump. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Fools that got 
you know what I'm saying, the run, but when they trump, you know, we give it to them, make sure they campaign. So you just give it to them, them for free, and then yeah, they just, just bump it, it. it And then, like, about the next week of saying, you know what I'm saying, we, we see dude that we gave the tape to, like, about a week later, and dude would be like, hey, dude, that shit was on hit. I ain't gonna even bark at you. At first, I didn't <laughs> I didn't know about it. At right. first, I didn't like it. But now, I listen to it when I was twisted. Yeah. Same, same thing every time. So is that how most people usually get into it when they got twisted? Yeah, that's yeah. the first. That's, that's the feel it. Right. But now, once you have learned how our shit is, you just go snatch the tape and be like, I already know I'm going to like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's expected. We we try to cater our music to people that, you know, we call it good listening, man. It's mob music, it but it's reality. good listening. It's, it's reality and it's fun to your ears. I mean, it's something you don't have to just keep, re- um, you ain't got to just, you know, eject. You know what I'm saying? You, ain't, you just listen to it all day long. All day long, just listen to it because it's fun and uh, it's food. It's food. It's food. <laughs> and it's you know, food. we used to take trips to like Vegas and uh, Reno just to go gamble. We just see somebody, we stop in the store, see somebody with some beat. Here, man, play this. Here, you go play it. And it's how to, you know, it got out. It Next got thing out you know, we got a little space. buzz out there, you know? So, with these guys, they'd see the phone number on there and call you back then? Nah, they just um, go to the stores. They, they home, they turn their homeboys for. on to it, and they go to the stores and ask. Then the stores ask the distributors. Then we create a buzz like that. That's how we was getting. So this is all from the first tape. Yeah. The next thing you know, Walter called us. Hey man, you got any more of the tapes? <laughs> <laughs> we tried to get. We tried to give Walter thirty tapes. Walter, man, just take thirty tapes and give them away. Nah. Nah, that's it. somebody was blackballing us. I ain't gonna say no names. Yeah, somebody somebody was, was blackballing us. Somebody was like, man, because you know I'm thinking it's some Vallejo brothers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They like, man, don't take them niggas' product, man. Yeah. No one the shit tight. You know what I'm saying? So the motherfuckers came up. Fuck what they talking about. Motherfuckers rose yeah. like well, yeast. You know what I'm saying? That's the point where we we uh, develop a system that any time you see that pig, that little pig, sick with the records. They snatched that yeah, up. That was some good shit jumping You know, up. we coming out the gate with new artists. You know how hard it is for a new artist to get recognized. And said so we coming out the gate with new artists selling at least 50,000. Right off the top. Right off the top. I'm talking about from the first order. Right. Yeah, when, for me, when I first started, it was hard for me to sell twenty. I mean, 50,000. Five, five it was thousand. over the years. 5,000. You know what I'm saying? It was like a, thousand a slower was process. Like, I sold 1,000 tapes. Be happy. Man, I just sold a thousand tapes, nigga. What are you talking about? Man. The click, the last tape. Oh, it sold how many? Three hundred thousand. Man, that thing is still rolling. That shit is not gonna stop. It's gonna go. go. Especially when Jai get a hold to it. They got. I'm gonna send them the dad today. Yeah. I'm it's gonna be like. Gonna see, a lot of problems with uh, our product is it's hard to get. You know, it's, it's it's real underground. It's hard to get. You might go to the store, buy it one time, and that store might not have it again for another three weeks. Because, you know, availability, you know what I'm saying, that we didn't have at first. But as we grew, you know, we kept the supply with it now, but now it's going to just be out of control. Like that click tape came out when, 90? 90, 91? Yeah, 91. And it's still rolling. Like, it's still rolling like, what, 10,000 a month? Because I remember when I started playing the video, Hard to been stepped on. At that stage, the, the video, the video, which is, which came out long after it was released, and I started playing. The video was seven months old, and then people were calling up and saying, "What is? Remember we talked about that? Like, what's this new Click album? Because they didn't really know that they were just. It was new to them, yeah. and it's still new to people. Yeah, exactly. So, but and, you, and it's still seven, like a new tape. You know what I mean? The Click, the, the damn and dirty tape. Click is like the all-time seller so far. It is. I mean, yeah. just. As far as long, longevity is concerned, it don't stop. It don't cool. stop. Has it sold more than than your one? No. Which one? The new one. Mailman. Yeah. Not no. The mailman sold faster. Yeah, but, sold, but you got to remember, it off. it's only the mailman sold 170 to to 180 thousand copies between a six to seven month period. Yeah. When as of the click, it took years. Yeah, because we didn't know the avenues back then. But now everything's maturing. Just like I say now. You know, artists with the pig. Every, every any artist that we got, and they see that pig on there, they coming out selling fifty thousand right off the top. You because know they saying? know it's going to be that style, it's right? That type of thing. That's why we don't really like to associate ourselves with uh, other other labels. You know, other things because we want our roster to be super tight. Yeah, we want everybody to know when they come from this camp, it's going to be something.